So I was going to say, like, it, it mean nothing. when I was in Ghana, we would be in a restaurant and we will ask for the bill. The bill was already paid for. For the guys over in Ghana, <laughs> the guys are, are, are doing nice things there without even talking to you. They will pay for your bill. They'll be like, the girls over there, we're paying for their bills. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. Today, I am asking a very simple question. Are Ghanaian men stingy? This is a question that I want to ask because there are several videos that I've actually personally come across on the internet that some people will be interviewed and they'll be like especially when they are comparing Ghanaian men and Nigerian men they'll be like Ghanaian men are stingy Ghanaian men are stingy Ghanaian men are stingy but nowadays there are certain videos too that I've come across or um, I've stumbled upon on the internet and all I hear is that Ghanaian men do not allow them to even pay for anything and these sisters are coming from the state most of them are coming from the state there are tons of videos I don't know if you remember I posted a video about 30 December and there were a couple of ladies in there that were just praising Ghanaian men listen there are other videos too that I've seen that's like they are talking about Ghanaian men, Ghanaian men, Ghanaian men, no, not allowing them to pay for anything. I just want us to watch these videos, come back and talk about it. On my very first day in Ghana, I land at the airport. This beautiful, beautiful black Mercedes pulls up. Uh, my friend hops out. She's like, Elsa, Elsa. So she introduces me to the guy she's with. She's like, this is Ramsey. Ramsey is the guy who was so gracious to host us when we were there. I had never met Ramsey. I didn't know Ramsey. This was the first time we were ever meeting. Um, he takes me to his house. Beautiful, stunning house. Beautiful pool, beautiful garden. Stunning, stunning house. He gives me one of the guest bedrooms. And during my whole time with Ramsey, like when I would go out, party, come back, leave my room in a mess, I would always find it cleaned up when I came back. And in the mornings, every morning when I had a hangover, I would always find like the cook has made a meal for me and my friend. Like every single time. Or if we didn't eat, sometimes she'd actually come in and check on us and she'd be like, hey, like, madame, did you eat? Like, did you eat? And you know, even um on the on my first weekend, because I got there on a Thursday, we partied Thursday, we partied Friday, and then on Saturday, um Ramsey took us to this chateau in the beach. For those who don't know what a chateau is, it's like it's like a castle and a villa combined. So he took us to this chateau by the beach and like he was just so nice. So everyone loved him. Even when he got there, even when we got to like um the chateau the staff was so happy to see him and they're like oh mr ramsey you're here you're here and you know <laughs> the thing is ramsey owns um a restaurant um in ghana kozo beautiful japanese restaurant my favorite restaurant in ghana actually and every time like we'd go out to eat i would want to pay like i would offer to pay because we do not take from our friends business we support our friends we do not take we don't go and take free things we support them so anyway i'm trying to like pay for my stuff ramsey never lets me pay it got to a point i had to start like sneaking to go pay the bill i remember the last time i met him um we had i went to meet him at the restaurant because we do this one-on-one -on -one dates sometimes right so i went to meet him at the restaurant and i sneak off to pay and the waiter was like uh mr ramsey said no and i was like no but i want to pay and he was like um yeah i hear you but he's my boss so no you know why i'm telling you guys about ramsey and how amazing he is and how much like he's just uh, taking care of me even uh, this this is the last example i'm gonna give um the last time i was in ghana um i remember i just said and i was like hey ramsey like i'm in ghana he said to me, he was like, a couple of us are going to the beach for the night. You want to come? Yes. Like, he's always included me. He's always, like, every in the ways I would consider valuable, he has shown up for me. And, you know, I gave the story about Lalu and everyone was like, oh, Lalu is in love with you. Ramsey has a girlfriend that he's very much in love with and he still took care of me. Get friends who take care of you. Get friends who take care of you. <laughs> But whoever said the men in Ghana wasn't tricking is going to hell for fucking lying.
because I haven't spent not a dollar yet. Yes, I am still on track to finding y'all husbands, but first, I gotta get me me. So yeah, I started the day, my first day by, you know, getting ready. I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna be a little cute night out. It's only our first day. I was really excited, but y'all, I was sadly mistaken. By the time y'all get to the end of this video, y'all gonna figure out what the fuck I'm talking about. But I had to make sure everything was laid, did my edges and everything. I was giving Mamie sweat, Mamie hotter. That's what I was giving. Made me lose my breath. Look at that body, bitch. Don't play with it, don't play with it, just stay with it. I had to go, you know, I'm I'm the poster girl for us, so I gotta go out looking good so they can wop. So we took pictures, and then after that, this is where my night started. No telling where your night is going to end when you're in Ghana. Honestly, I should have known better when the pregame started at 2 a.m. So we went to get these cute drinks at a pregame, and I'm thinking, once again, all right, tonight going to be cool. Now, the food in Ghana is a 1,100 out of 10. Every time they put something in my face, I'm tearing that shit up every single time without fail. Anyways, we got a few shots. When I say a few, it was like two a piece. Like, that is crazy. Then we headed to the real club at 4 a.m., y'all. Like, I should have known once I was walking down this hallway what type of night tonight was going to be. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., they still get looking bottles. I'm trying to hang on, y'all. I'm trying to hold on. But honestly, this is my eighth glass looking champagne. What is going on? 5 o'clock in the morning, more bottles coming. Think, okay, 7 a.m. We leaving the club. Cool, let's go home. You thought you wrong. We done pulled up to another spot. At this point, I'm mind blown. It's 7 51. We just got to brunch. Bring me the mother hookah. We gonna brunch, let's brunch it up. But Ghana is not a real place. Daddy December is a, I can't even grab the cup. Look at that. I can't even grab the cup. But I can't let them think I'm no asshole. So she it. I just kept the fool. I'm telling for real, I know I've been this food up. I got home at 9 30 in the morning, and this is just day one. I can only imagine what the rest of this trip holds. Why are Ghanaian men so good to women? And I'm not just talking about just the Ghanaian men here. I'm talking about the ones coming from abroad, the madam, like, what's going on this December? It's the etiquette for me. It's that I don't have to reach into my purse anytime for me. It's that I don't have to call for a Bolt or Uber for me. And it's the politeness for me, like, I'm going to need all you other guys to take notes from these Ghanaian men because... <laughs> Chalet. Chalet. <laughs> so these are the videos and for me i'm asking you what do you think about it what i think or what i know is that for me i'm Ghanaian, so i know i know how Ghanaian men actually operate when it comes to Ghanaian men or Ghanaians in general they are very cool laid back they don't like to just be throwing away monies here and there just like that. You know, they spend wisely. That's actually what they do. And a lot of people mistake that to be they don't like to spend, they don't like to spend. No. I feel they, they take their time and they spend wisely. They, like, they don't want to make a mistake by spending on the wrong person. Because Charlie, if you are a lady, for instance, and I've not seen anything, like, you know, there are some ladies that are like gold diggers. When they come to you, all they want to do is to just dig. Such ladies, to be honest, if you, you spend on them, it's like, 
you know, Ghanaian men in general want to spend on the right person at the right time and all that. And for me, I think that is actually the reason why one of the videos that you watched was on, on the internet and I'm just chipping this in. There were some Nigerians under the comment section and they were like, no, it is not Ghanaian men. They are Nigerians in Ghana or living in Ghana that are doing that. And I'm like, bro, why do you guys want to take every good thing and give us the bad stuff? Listen, there are a lot of Ghanaian men that are also spending on ladies. But the thing is, they spend wisely. You know, most of these are ladies that come from America and the UK and all that for 30 December and all that. Most of them, they, you know, you even not paying in, they want to even pay for you. And me as a man, if I see any lady who is trying to even do something like that by paying for something that perhaps all of us have, or a man is supposed to do, listen, I will even do more. You understand? So basically, I think it's because these African Americans or blacks from the diaspora, the ladies that come for Dirty December, it's because they are not gold diggers. So you heard it from one of the ladies. She was like, she even wanted to pay but the guy was not allowing her. That person is not a gold digger and definitely the man will do what was spent any amount on her. So what do you think? Do you think Ghanaian men are stingy or not? Drop your comments in the comment section and let's know what you think. Because for me, I think they spend wisely. They try to spend on the right person. They don't just want to spend and throw away money and all that. So basically that's what they do. Thank you so much for watching.